I was told that if I wanted to see how the U.S. will play a part in India's energy future, I should come here, a coal power plant. Believe it or not, erected right in the middle of Delhi. Mr. Ambassador. Hi, nice to meet you, Dave. Nice to meet you. I, I love the, the movie set apocalyptic on the one side of the railroad tracks. On the other side of the railroad tracks, this wonderful solar field, this is the problem and how we conquer it. This is now probably the single biggest pathway of our cooperation between the U.S. and India in the years ahead, the clean energy space. Over 400 companies, a lot of companies from U.S., uh, are here in India mm -hmm. working very actively. I think what's really exciting is that this has caught hold here in a way that it never has before. What are the challenges ahead here? To meet the target that India has set just in solar, the financing challenge is about $100 billion. Wow. It's $100 billion of private capital, of government money, of India's resources. So a huge challenge in getting that business climate right to actually attract that investment. In terms of uh, jobs, uh, do the equation for us. What does this represent? We bring solar panels from Perisburg, Ohio, from First Solar, um, uh, inverter technology from uh, Colorado in, in Denver. So we end up creating a lot of uh, manufacturing jobs in the United States. So some of these panels are made in, in Ohio. So some of these panels are made it's in, remarkable. It's made it's in a great Ohio. The United States is not donating uh, time, equipment, uh, raw materials, uh, everybody makes money. Absolutely. Look, it's good for uh, national security reasons. It's good to combat climate change. It's good for economic development reasons here in India, but also in the United States. When I first got here, I, I, I saw nothing but problems. And, and if you start examining the problems, they all become opportunity. Absolutely. I mean, overwhelming opportunity. We're really optimistic about this space. We're really optimistic about the way the U.S. and India have come together to tackle uh, this challenge.